Hi everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using uh, timeless tulips. And today I'm going to be using uh, the smallest bud, the middle bud, this straight stem, this leaf and the sentiment happy birthday. I'm also going to be using my own brick stamp. You can't see that there. Stamping up, do do. I've brought out a new stacking brick uh, stamp. I'm not going to get it because I have this one and it's much bigger than stamping up. It's very similar. I'll show you. Get this and I'll show you background stamps. See if I can find them. I think they're near the end. Here they are. There it is. A brick stamp. And it's near enough the same as my one, so I'm not going to get that one. But I am going to use this one. So to start off, we need. I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth. And don't forget to burnish it. I always seem to forget. I have three pieces of white card stock, and they all measure five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. One for the inside, one for the card, and this one, which I've already cut out, the largest circle die, stamping up circle die and I've already cut it out that's because I don't want to bring my big shop up here so it's quite heavy and this die is too big to go in my little well, well the card is actually too big to go in my little die I've also got a banner for the happy birthday this is out of the numbers dies I found it in my um, maybe next time box. So I thought I'd use that. I've got about five or six of them in there. So I thought I'd use them up. And what else? Oh, and some thread. Some linen thread. Just to decorate it. So to get started, and I forgot my crumb cake ink. So move that out of the way. Move them, bring in this, let me get my crumb cake. Ah, oh, the flowers, I'm going to change the colour of the flowers. I am going to use Bumblebee, one of the new ones. I'm going to see what it's like. I haven't used it yet. But I've got crumb cake. Right, I'm going to use crumb cake next. So, let's reveal this big stamp. It's got a bend in it. And we're going to ink up this stamp. All I'm doing is just inking it up. And I am actually going to go over this because I don't want it to dark. And then I'm going to place that on top. And rub over it. See, it would have come out this dark and I don't want it that dark. That's nice. You can't see that, can you? Just about. Very subtle. Right, let me get me cloth. like that 
just a bit. I'm not going to put the lid on or the plastic on top of that yet because it's damp. Right, get rid of that, don't need that. So that is our top page done. Now we need to line it up with our underneath bit. I just got rid of this. There's no me, I put my fingers in it. Right, line it up with that. And then with a pencil, we're going to trace around the circle. Because we don't want the flowers to go out the circle. And there's our circle. So, with our bumblebee and our big tulip, we're going to place that towards the top in the middle. Seems quite dark, this. Oh, look at that colour. Quite nice. Right. Now we've got the little one. And we're going to place that on the side. And we're going to do one the other side. Oh, and we need to do one. Don't know if this is big enough. Oh, yeah. We need a scrapper one. There we are. Right, old olive. And. Need a post it note. Not that it matters because you won't see under here, but I'm just putting it on. Right, stem. I'll give each tulip a stem. So, and we're going to do the leaves. So, I'm going to put a leaf there. Put one there and one there. So they're all inside the circle. Move that. Oh, no, I need a, a leaf to cut out, don't I? There. Now, with our bumblebee yellow and our happy birthday, our um, banner, we're going to stamp happy birthday on it. Ooh, nearly in the middle. Oh yes, that's nice. And that is our stamping done. So this will go over that. Oh look. Came up too far. Oh, no. Oh, never. Never put the card on straight. That's it. Right. 
Yeah, I have. Right, what I'm going to do there, I am just going to join the stems. So I've got the stem stamp. And just join. I haven't got a gap now. Right, just need to quickly cut out these. There is a um, tulip pump, pump, punch. I didn't get it, and it only cuts the big tulip out. Doesn't do the smaller ones. But they're so easy to cut out. We don't really need it. It does cut a leaf out as well, but like I said, these are so easy to cut out by hand. That's it. Now we're going to put this card together. Right. The one with the hole in it. We put um, dimensionals on it. Well, I have got, sorry about the noise, strips of foam from Sizzix, these are. And I'm just going to use these up. I've had them in my box for ages. So I'm just going to put it down the side, that will go across that. Find another one. You can see how old these are, the strips don't come off. Easily. Right. Cut that off. And place that across. Oh, just show it there. Right, I want a bit for the bottom of the hole. So I want to put a bit across there. And a bit there. That'll do. So Take all these off. This is set them down. A long thumbnail doesn't um, help with 
getting these off. need to get this on evenly and straight that's it and then we put that on top of our card I mean, of course, you can all use dimensionals. Oof. Nearly threw away my mask. But I had that, so that's what I used. Um, yeah, Stamping Up do do long strips of four shaker cards. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to add some linen. wonder if I can get some under there. Tiny bow. Let's chop. Don't think I've ever done it in a bow like this before. I think I've always just wrapped it round and stuck a bow on it. I think I know why I've done that. I'm going to tie this in a knot and then tie a bow. These tails off. And I'm going to make sure that sticks down. I'm going to put some glue there and stick the knot on it. And we need dimensionals now for the uh, tag. not going to work, is it? Yeah.
do it like that. This is a thicker linen thread than that one. I wonder where I got that one from. Hmm. And then my tulip will stick under here. That's right, I cut half the cut the leaf in half and stuck that under the tulip like that. So Stick that on there. And then stick it all. And then we have it. A little bit different because I've used a thicker twine. Then I did on this one. I used a thinner one. Don't know where I got that one from. But they're still pretty. Well, I think they're pretty. And I hope you do too. Let's just stick the bit inside. I always seem to forget about this. There we are. Right. If you like my card please give us a thumbs up share it if you like um, subscribe and if you'd like to see more please press the notification button bell and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon